So my Somali friend invited my kids around for a sleepover. So I just picked up some hawaji and some rice from here. That's the rice. She's got her duvet in here as well because and junk and all their sleeping stuff because they're going for a sleepover today. So that's what I'm doing. We're in Leighton. Just gonna drop them off and then go to the gym, inshallah. Get the car washed. It's dirty. gym um, car hasn't been washed because they didn't get enough time apparently I was in the gym for like an hour and a half uh, when barking and um, we're going to that restaurant over there Ariana I need some meat I need some protein you're right Idris say hello to my vlog <laughs> yeah so we're just gonna go and eat some Afghan food inshallah I'm craving like a curry but I don't know we'll see but my husband just realized someone's had a car wash that's for sure even though it's not our car, someone said a car was from Salah. So, getting some yeah. halloumi, getting some lamb. I love okra. Traditional kabuli pilau, love it. Such a simple rice, but um, it's really tasty. It looks simple, but it's not simple to make. <laughs> My lamb. Why does she think that the lamb is yours? It's mine. That's Idris's food. Midnight car wash because all the car washes are closed. So we have to get that done before the girls come back from their sleepover. <laughs> they finally managed to get it working. Yeah, overnight car wash. At least the girls will have a nice clean car to get into tomorrow. Well overdue. Is that any fun? <laughs> So we visited my in-laws and now my husband is adamant he can do a better job at the car wash than the car wash people and it's probably cost us like double that so far and we've had to drive around to like 10 different petrol stations because the hoover section thing wasn't working Did you, you sit at the front for now until I do this and then you can sit back there after? It only lasts for four minutes, bro, so I've got to be quick, bro. Mm-hmm. It's like mid of the night. He's tiring himself out. 10.30 in the night. I just want to go sleep this way past my bedtime. Oh, way past my bedtime. I'm tired. But Dad wants to clean the car before the girls come back. They're laughing. I'm laughing. Why? <laughs> <laughs> I just... Delete it! Why? No! <laughs> oh my... I just want to go home. Yeah, so do I. We just take a bus. <laughs> to Oldgate and then Oldgate... It's not Oldgate, it's Allgate. From Oldgate... Allgate. From the gate, take the 242. Hopefully it won't be long. We'll be better off doing that. 
No, he's, just, he's, just, very he's just not stopping. He's just adamant. Like, it's already clean. It's, it's already clean, bro. Allow me in it. Now he's got me doing it. For God's sake, while he's getting a coffee. <laughs> I just want to go home. Assalamu alaikum. So it's Sunday. And I've just come down to the office of my husband. The girls are still at a sleepover. This morning I got a message from the sister from the local shop. And they've asked me to urgently bring down some bits and bobs. Um, so we've got Modal hijabs here. Jersey hijabs. Square maxi hijab. Um... What's this? Straight up buys it, but that's for the sister herself. And then we've got everyday chiffon hijabs in several colours. And because I haven't been at the office and doing the orders, um, sorry, I'm out of breath because I've been like climbing up the ladder um, to get the hijabs. Like I've been going up and down on that. <laughs> yeah, but basically, because I haven't been packing the orders and I haven't really been in the office, um, I've kind of, you know, I, I don't really know what's low on stock and and what needs replacing, what needs reordering and stuff. And um, yeah, I think things are getting very low and I need to restock a lot. Um, but that's the system we need to put together, to be honest. Um, we've been kind of focusing a lot more on the clothes. Um, but I suppose from on the hijab side of things, inshallah, I, I definitely need to restock on a lot of them as soon as I get home or maybe even on the way, inshallah. But I'm going to try and vlog when I get there, inshallah. I think they're waiting for us. Assalamu alaikum. This is proper night time here, subhanAllah. It's a big like party party place. That's Brooklyn, right there. Hubby's carrying the bags. Alhamdulillah, I'm so blessed. I feel so relaxed about the kids. It's unreal. London. There's a downstairs section full of men, um, menswear and kidswear. The ladies are buyers and jilbabs. Mashallah, beautiful shop. Books and sweets, and it always smells beautiful, mashallah. There's the beautiful sister Jamila. All the hijabs. I love the way they fold them up, mashallah. There's the Ottlandan order. Ottlandan hijabs. And then Ottlandan rack. Alhamdulillah. Mashallah, mashallah. Beautiful, the vibe in here is just beautiful, mashallah. Right, this is a, where is this, is this a tea? Is it tea? I've been craving this for like the whole year. They only bring it out in the winter. And it's like a cinnamon, apple, hot apple cinnamon type of tea. And it's, um, you get it in Shoreditch Market. Is it in Shoreditch Market? It's like a big shopping centre type of thing. And um, it's a little bit sour, sweet, and cinnamony, mashallah, it's really nice. We're just leaving Ajwa now. Assalamu alaikum, good morning, vlog number two, week two. Wayne Dagenham, like my ex hometown man. Um, I spent a couple years here to be honest. Um, yeah, I spent a couple years here. Yeah, so Dagenham was that kind of place where there weren't a lot of Muslims back then, and um, you know, just to go food shopping, the way the houses are here, a little bit different. Um, you know, you wouldn't see a naqabi generally walking down here. Like, really odd to see a naqabi around here. Or even a hijab before that matter. When I used to live here, I wouldn't go shopping around here. I would drive down 
into like a like a Muslim area and go shopping there, um, go park there, go do everything over there, car wash there because um, you know it's not a place that's very suitable for a Muslim sister to be walking about. Um, yeah, there's there's not gonna lie, it's not a really it's not a comfortable area, put it that way. So the plan is <clears throat> last night obviously my kids had a sleepover we got back a little bit late um not too late but yeah we got back a little bit late i had to go work obviously pack a wholesale order generally i like to take saturday and sunday off but that would include phone work and laptop work anyway that's just the standard that never goes away so because i had to like go into work it made me feel like i didn't have a break and like off of work at least so it's Monday morning, I'm going to the gym with my mum. I've booked in a swim session, um, a sauna, obviously gym before both of them. So I like to go gym, sauna, then swimming. Yeah, but this morning was a nightmare. Like I woke up and my body's like, you're not going anywhere. You need to stay in bed. You need to let me rest. So I had to listen to my body. You know, your body sometimes just does that. It just tells you, you know, by the way, the car's so clean and it's just random. Like the car's like bare clean back there loving it nothing on the floor normally there's bare stuff on the floor like so much stuff on the floor but yeah this morning my body was just not letting me get up to be honest um it was tired and i was like you know what i'm gonna take the kids to school when i take the kids to school ain't nobody waking me up no quran teacher no alarm clock no nada so that was me today this morning like miss my quran class but I texted her, I said, listen, please can we just take a day off? I just, I haven't, I've hardly slept. Oh my God, my hamster escaped out of his cage, her cage. Um, we've got a little hamster and everybody's scared of it. So um, so just to like clean its cage is a bit of a mission. Um, honestly, it's just like madness. So when, it, when we found out it escaped um, and it was just hiding in the corner, just standing there and then something dropped and it got scared, it ran. And then we were like, ah, like everyone's screaming, trying to jump up on the bed, on the chair, like just to get away from it in my son's room. Um, and then it was like four in the morning. And then for the gym, we have to have like a padlock and we can do, oh my God, I saw a niqabi sister, subhanAllah. May Allah protect her. Yeah, so the last time I went to the gym, I had my mum's padlock and I had no choice but to use that padlock on top of the cage so it doesn't open the door again and run out again so yeah that was the situation with the hamster but yeah that was another like probably hour of my sleep time let me just see what my mom said Dama hello mama yeah that's my mom so she's ready um Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna go gym for half an hour, then go sauna, then go have a nice swim, inshallah. And then obviously there's a lot of orders for my sister to be packing today. Sister Vicky's taking the day off because she feels the same like me, like she didn't get a day off technically because she was like doing a post yesterday. Um, to be honest, so, did, so was my sister. My sister was helping out. She was doing a lot of bits and bobs. Yeah, so I think, I don't know. I really felt the love from the sisters this week. Like everyone's involved. Everyone's really trying to boost the business boost the business because I'm not gonna lie we things went down from the moment um, UPS lost our packages because that was like our whole summer stock like so much money time and effort went into that stock and they lost the packages pretty much for the full summer season like what am I gonna do with summer stock during the winter um, obviously there are um, you know some some um, countries that are still warm and stuff but yeah that really set us back to be honest and it you know it's been kind of a nightmare trying to recover from that the sisters are trying to be really creative to um you know figure different ways out for kind of exposure um offers incentivizing customers and stuff uh referral systems like the whole lot um but it's just really really not easy yeah i mean to be honest i was like listen girls i don't know if we're gonna make it um at the end of the month we'll have to judge and see um what happens because obviously we're taking the business to another level it's not a home-based business anymore um 
you know, it's a lot more difficult because there's so many more overheads and, you know, obviously people are noticing that the prices are going up and why the price is going up, obviously, because you've got rent, you've got um, now VAT, which is like a 20% chunk that goes straight to the government aside from general normal standard tax as well. So that's the situation. Um, but yeah, I'll probably catch up with you guys when I get in the gym, inshallah. got to the gym mum's got a new padlock i've got my highland spring still water and then um yeah i don't think I can, there's a lot of ladies around here it's quite busy so i saw that nobody was in here so i wanted to film it oh, going for a swim now come out of the sauna And me and my mum, our session was from, I got confused, it's from 10, no, 11.30 to 12, but we ended up going in at 11, so we've had almost an hour, um, done loads of swimming, up and down, up and down, loads of little bits and bobs, especially with the wobble, um, loads of little workouts in there as well, so, yeah, that should be a lot of calories burnt, inshallah. Walking back from the gym. This area, I'm not gonna lie, someone asked on the live what it's like in London. Areas like this, not so good. Not so comfortable. But... Okay, I've got to the car, alhamdulillah. There's your double decker bus. My mom's just going to get some bananas. Um, I'm so hungry, I'm so hungry. I don't know what to eat because I am trying to lose a bit of weight. I'm going to see what to get. I might pop down to the Brothers Gym on the way home. Um, in the Brothers Gym, they make like these like lean type of meals. So I might go for that, inshallah, no carb. So I've dropped off my mum. But then, yeah, I wasn't sure whether I'm going to go into work or go and pick up the kids straight away. Um, but she needed me to like extend. Yeah, uh, I had to like set up the booster um, for the internet in, in the summer house. And that's it. And I don't think I've got any time left to kind of do anything but probably get something to eat on the way from that brother's gym. And then um, and that's it. And then go home and pick up the kids. Pick up the kids. That's it. So get something to eat and then pick up the kids, inshallah. That's what I'm going to do next. So I'll show you guys what I'm eating, inshallah. So I got a call from the Piccadilly Circus Line billboard company. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be on that billboard soon. Inshallah. Okay. Sounds good. Um, the other thing is that I've managed to get a magazine that will feature us. Oh, um, The only thing is that... Hello? Mariam, I just posted it, but I don't know why it looks so dark. Mm -hmm. It's like the vibrance is completely gone. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. How how did you get hold of the picture? I did it straight from the. Oh, it looks nice. Yeah, I like no, it. yeah I'm gonna send you a call. Um, okay, inshallah. Okay. All right, right, I'll, I'll forward to you. Two fungi. Two phone calls down. Two phone calls down. I better call my husband and see if he wants some gym food. And I've got to call the gym to book the um, food in so it's ready by the time I come and collect. Um, my son's calling me. <sighs> what else? I need to. Um... Oh, my air at home, subhanAllah, is broken and I can't function without it. It's, it's crazy. I've got so much laundry. I've got like three kids, right? There's five people in the house. There's a lot of laundry. I'm just going to see if my husband wants Hello. To... Yeah, just quickly. Do you want gym food? No. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know if it's Alright, bye bye. You sure you don't want it, yeah? No, I don't want it. Alright, bye. Right. Uh, who's the next person I need to call? My son. And then I need to book the gym food. Hello. Asalaamu As Alaikum. Oh, sorry, what's going on? Sorry, baby. I'll... Can you pick me up? To go away, the kids. Yeah. All right, inshallah. Yeah, I can do that. Okay. All right, but uh, get ready. I'll be about 20 minutes. 
Gym. Late and raw gym, that's where they do the food. Yeah, hi, can I order some food for collection, please? Yes. Yes. Yes, yeah, so can I have uh, one chicken large? Every chicken you like. Peri peri, spicy or jerk? Uh, peri peri, please. Yeah, okay. Uh, coleslaw. Coleslaw. Oh, you can choose side first. Uh, what's the side? Uh, uh, white rice, brown rice, noodles, plantain or sweet potato. You can choose one. Yeah, plantain. Plantain. Um, okay. Coleslaw. Yeah, coleslaw. And what salad do you have? Uh, green salad and fruit salad. Yeah, I think fruit salad. Fruit salad. Hummus. <laughs> yeah. And I think that's it, yeah. Okay. Yeah? How long? 10 minutes, yeah? Yeah, ten, okay. 10, 10, ten 12 minutes, yeah? All right, thank you very much. Bye -bye. Uh, okay, that's my food booked in. I'm just gonna go be in queue. You can't see the name. Very nice, yeah. We're like in Leighton, so I'm just gonna go be in queue quickly. Get um an error because, like I said, it snapped. And that's me done. Then I can eat. I'm probably gonna have to eat in the car because otherwise I won't make it to to eat at home or anything like that. So I'm gonna eat in the car. I'm gonna try, let's 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 vlog this right let's let's become real vloggers and just vlog it properly shall we take me bag my mum got me like loads of little snacks and stuff for the kids and like healthy snacks dry fruit nuts she's so good like that Michelle. So they didn't have it they only had the one that's really wide but the one i need is really is like the tall one um i don't want to waste my ground space so didn't get that i was gonna get if i if the era was there um i would have got that and a big plant pot and some soil um for my big rubber plant that's overgrown um that plant's got a story actually because when i bought that plant it was tiny and i said once that grows like my body size, I will start a YouTube channel. And I was like taller than me, alhamdulillah. But um, yeah, they didn't have it, which is a shame because they, when they do have the era, it's actually a really good quality one. Um, I've started driving, but I completely forgot to pay the sister that just sent me the invoice because um, she needs the payment now. So I'm just gonna pull over quickly and do that. Where's my phone? It's amazing, isn't it, how you can do everything off your phone now? Let me just quickly pay her. Oh, Jim. What? Vogue Arabia? My other phone died. That's my lunch after the gym. That's actually my breakfast and lunch. I haven't had breakfast either. No, I had... I had something naughty. I can't remember what I had. What did I have for breakfast? I can't remember, but that's like peri peri chicken, fruit salad, coleslaw, plantain, like, where's the hummus? Okay, the hummus is there as well. <laughs> Sorry, because I'm looking at the camera. Um, yes, that's my lunch. Alhamdulillah. Assalamu alaikum and good morning. Um, today is the 6th of December. Um, one of the biggest changes has been my phone. Um, yeah, it's the Samsung. 21 s21 something ultra the best one apparently um the reason i kept it is, is it looks horrible but the reason i kept it is because of the camera like five cameras it must be good right um so i've kept it because the camera <clears throat> um today's monday obviously so i'm gonna make my way to work now So I've arrived at work, got my smoothie, my smoothie for um, the morning. So I had my breakfast, that's like my 
like nutrition stuff. I think what I might have to do, I just thought of it like while I was walking. Um, what I might have to do is eat carbs in the morning, but don't eat carbs in the evening. I think that might be a better option. I'm just going to um, switch on the computer, switch on the printer. Um, and then just, yeah, I'm going to start packing orders. I'm back in here. Like, I haven't done this in ages. Ain't gonna lie. So, yeah, I'm going to pack the orders, inshallah. I'll probably record a little bit, but I can't bother to do it all in my clothes the whole time. So, I'll just record a bit. But not. Shout out company, and they shout out as well. Yeah, like a template, um, yeah? Yeah, go on. Thank you. All right, so uh, <clears throat> Time to actually start working, right? So we've got the first order is a discrete packaging. <laughs> today man so you don't buy yourself yeah when are you gonna pick up the kids uh 2 30 isn't it can you pick me up um yeah i can show you okay bro okay sorry for the So as you can see, there are quite a few benefits to owning your own business and running your own business. Yeah, so it's quite convenient, alhamdulillah, but um, wearing this and working ain't that convenient. So um, alhamdulillah, it's comfortable, but I just want to like, you know, be fast. So to be fast, I don't want to keep tripping over my buy on the lead and stuff like that. So I'm going to, especially with this big order, right? I'm going to have to keep going up and down. So 
I'm going to stop the packing situation right here. Um, I'm going to finish my smoothie and yeah, because I've got to get that done before I pick up my kids today. So, assalamu alaikum. Where am I? I'm in the middle of somewhere where there's just bare mansions and G-wagons outside. Yeah, so obviously I've taken Ukh London onto Amazon. I've got a model in coming in on Wednesday. Um, and we're going to take pictures of the hijabs. I've got a competitor on Amazon already. I already know him. I spent years and years working with him. He's probably got no idea that I've started a clothing company. So I've got that to deal with. All of that Amazon situation. Just trying to get it up there, inshallah. Hopefully that will boost things. Um, yeah, and just getting new stock in. My plan is to just fully restock everything I've ever had. Um, I want to expand the straighter buyers into plus size and children's. You know, just just a, a classic, simple straighter buyer. People are like people are struggling to find a simple black abaya. It's just nuts. So I'm just trying to you know expand that bit for you know the bigger sisters and and the kids as well. Because even with the kids, like there's all these like stone ones and little fancy fancy ones. But people just want a simple abaya sometimes. You know, it's not easy to find. So. I'm going to expand that side of things and then we're going to start looking. I've ordered a calendar again. You know the calendar at the beginning of the YouTube channel? That's still hanging up on my wall. I'm getting a 2002 now. Them calendars are good. So I'm going to plan the rest of the... Just trying to give you guys a nice view. <laughs> so I'm going to try and start planning things for the next year. Um, obviously we've got Ramadan coming up. Eid coming up. I still haven't done my prayer dress that I've always wanted to do. Um, you know, a nice simple one because that's the sunnah. You know, to pray on plain prayer mats and pl in plain clothing so it doesn't you know it's not distracting especially if, if you've got like a bit of a perfectionism like me where you know you're standing there in salah and then this thing is distracting you because that side is more une it's just uneven and the it, yeah the pattern's not even it's not matching up and it's driving you nuts and yeah so you know having plain plain clothes plain prayer mats all of that kind of stuff it's it's how it's supposed to be not all this like patterned crazy stuff so, so that's the plan inshallah you know ramadan eid what else is there um obviously spring you know i got i got i got my my custom made um elastic stuck in turkey in white and then i've got my custom made elastic in black stuck in another country and it's just like yeah, I've got, to, I've got to start using that up as well. So I'm going to use up the black for the winter. And I'm going to use up the white for the spring and the summer, inshallah. That's the plan. But yeah. Hear the rain. Look how beautiful that is. Relaxing one. It's so beautiful out there. Like I went out there to take my daughter out. The air, all of the, this whole vibe. Subhanallah, it just reminds me when I accepted Islam. This was the weather when I accepted Islam. It's cold, it's gloomy, it's dark. It's just, you know, it reminds me of like Yom al Qiyamah, like Nafsi Nafsi, you know. At the end of the day, you've only got you. At the end of the day, you're only going to be judged, you know. You're going to be judged alone. So this whole thing is just reminds me of that. It's just mad. It's just you alone. Like, no, ain't nobody love you that much. You know what I mean? <laughs> but yeah, so that's an update. <clears throat> I'm just going to... You guys probably hate this angle. I'm just going to have my tea. A lot of things have changed. Um... But if I need Ukh London, if, I, if I'm going to make Ukh London grow, that's what's got to happen. But yeah, I think that's about it for me for now. Um, for this week, I think Saturday, cutting out. <laughs> Sunday, I'm just going to chill, inshallah, just recoup my whole mind. Because obviously from Monday, it's just, it's me on everything. Um, and my sister, and that's about it. So, got a lot of like collaborations happening, a lot of PR happening. Um got to sort all that out i'm probably gonna vlog next week inshallah um we'll see but yeah thanks for watching assalamu alaikum peace out